Alright guys, so today we kind of just have a fun little video. There's really no main point to this video other than the fact that I have two out of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 collab in my hands, which probably won't happen again for a considerable amount of time because I already made videos on them, so my trainer will probably just take them back. But today, to have a little fun, I'm going to be ranking my opinion on what the worst to the best Travis Scott Jordan 1 is. This is obviously not going to be including the other Travis Scott shoes like the 6s and the 4s. This is going to be exclusively the 1s and the 1 lows. So, let's just jump right into it because why not? Alright, so the Travis Scott that I believe to be easily the worst one is, you guys probably already guessed it, the Phantom Black Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's and this shoe is just overall in my opinion kind of a terrible shoe it's completely all black it's reminiscent of a black Air Force One which people don't like in the community and I just think it's a very boring shoe that they could have done so much more with like if they made the swoosh white instead of black the shoe would have popped very well but because they had to make it um, a very boring shoe, it just didn't it didn't hit correctly. It's still sitting at one of the lower prices for any Travis Scott Jordan. Um, so if you guys really want a Travis Scott Jordan and you're okay with having an uglier one, then go for it, I guess. But in my personal opinion, it's not a shoe that is worth even close to the $700 price tag that is being toted at. I just think that is insanely, ridiculously not worth it. So, if I look at my phone, it's because I'm looking at how I'm ranking the shoes because I can't really remember off the top of my head. But I know that the next one on my personal list is going to be the Travis Scott Fragment Highs. This shoe is basically just a meme at this point because of the price that it is at. Like these are worth like 4k, an authentic pair, and the fakes are worth like $100 and they look exactly the same. This is just one of those shoes that no one actually has a real pair of. And on top of that, I just don't like how the blue on the toe box contrasts with the white that surrounds it. I think it's a pretty ugly color scheme and it's just not all that great. So, Travis Scott Fragment Highs, they also didn't really have a real release. So I can't really be too thrilled with that shoe. Um, and they make the second to worst spot. Now, the next one might surprise you guys. I don't know how you feel about Travis Scott shoes, but it is going to be the ones that we actually review. It's going to be the Travis Scott One Low Olives. Um, I wasn't feeling these in the beginning when I saw pictures and when I saw them in hand I wasn't feeling them just the same. I really just am not feeling the way the black on the toe box goes with the white. Similar to my gripe about the fragments and I think it's just a very plain and bland shoe. It doesn't look too iconic because of how muted the color is and overall it's just not my thing. So definitely Definitely miles better than the first two we mentioned, but I still think it's the third worst out of the trilogy. So next up, we're gonna have to throw the Fragment Jordan 1 hot, uh, Lowe's rather, on there. Um, a lot of people absolutely swear by the shoe. I honestly probably would have put it below the olives if people didn't like it as much as they do, but I'm going to give it a little bit of cloud just for that mere reason and I think that the shoe overall is not like the worst thing in the world but the quality is terrible and the overall, like I like that there's a white swoosh that definitely makes it pop a lot more than the other three that we've mentioned so far but I just, I'm not really feeling the shoe just the same. I don't think that blue is Travis's color. And I think that when he makes like an authentic brown shoe, it just looks way better. So, enough about the fragments, they were worth too much to even consider. Anyway, 
unless you get a fake pair. The next shoe that we are going to be talking about, now we're starting to get into the shoes that are actually good. Everything from here on out, they're good shoes. Unless I'm forgetting one, which I'm sure I am. But next one on the list is going to be the Travis Scott One Low Mochas. These are the OG Mocha pair and people were not feeling these originally way back in the day, but now they are worth some serious breach and everyone was kind of like caught by surprise by that. I remember I actually bought a pair of these back in the day for like $800, but unfortunately they just never shipped them. I would have had a pair, but I guess it's not in the cards for me. Um, after some of the other lows came out, these were kind of forgotten about, but I still think that they are one of the better Travis Scott one lows. So yeah, not too much to say. They started, they pretty much started the entirety of the boom of, of Jordan 1 lows in general, as Travis Scott did with the Dunks and the Jordan 1 lows. Those were like the two shoes that he really catapulted into the spotlight once again. So coming in at number two, might be a lot of people's number one, but I can't do it personally. The Travis Scott 1 low reverse mocha has to be at number two. I mean, this shoe is absolute fire. Um, I was trying to find reasons not to put it high on my Sneaker of the Year 2022 list, but when I looked at it compared to the other Travis Scotts, I quickly realized that it's pretty much, it is the best low, and it's only beat by the OG high, which you guys probably already knew. But yeah, the mo reverse mochas are an absolutely fire shoe. The colorway just gives me like cookie vibes and just a very nice vibe to it. I really like the way it blends in with like cargos and other cool outfits, so just a clean shoe overall. I cannot complain about it whatsoever. But then number one, we all knew this was coming. The Travis Scott one highs are my favorite Travis Scott. I wish, wish, wish that I kept my pair or that I bought this pair off my friend. He sold for $700 straight off the sneakers app, but that time has passed. There's nothing I can do now, and if I get a pair, it would probably be fake anyway. So, I guess the Travis ones are not on the cards, but the quality is just so good. Like, these have to be the best Travis quality. That's also why the fragments rank so low. The quality on those was abysmal. These are a wonderful shoe. And I really just, it's such a clean shoe, man. I can't get over it. Especially this pair for some reason. The suede on this pair is very alive and I think it's just an awesome shoe. So with that being said, I'm just going to end it off here. Travis Scott 1 high, best Travis Scott of all time. Jordan 1, Jordan 4, anything, he's your number 1. If Jordan 4s were on the list, I would rank those um, UNC ones pretty high, but they are not. So unfortunately those are not ranked in this video. That being said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all later. Peace.